Good morning, everybody. Today's the day. Today's the day. I'll go get our Great Pyrenees puppy. Uh, turns out that there was a lady who lives uh, 10 minutes down the road from the farm and my parents' farm. So I don't have to go far to get this dog, which is really nice and it's not super expensive and hang on my parents driveway is an insanely long and bumpy trail made for jeeps okay all right so a little backstory on this pup it's a boy it's uh parents are livestock guardian dogs so he comes from good stock he they do sheep goats and I think the little girl has chickens too it's the little this uh, lady's daughter has the puppies it's her dog's puppies and she raises livestock and so this puppy is eight weeks old and has already been exposed to livestock and everything he's been living outside because Great Pyrenees are fully capable of living outside in the cold. Their coats are super thick. They have a very thick undercoat. Uh, this is the third Great Pyrenees that we have had. So we're not new to this breed of dogs. Raised Great Pyrenees before. We've had them with livestock before. This is not our first rodeo. I feel like a lot of people are have only known me or Ken in like the past year and a half. And the ones of you who follow Ken don't follow him on anything but YouTube. And so you have no idea how much farming and stuff that we've done in the past seven years. Eight years almost. Anyway, that's some background. We have done this before and we've had these dogs before. And for the most part, every single one of them that we've had has very good instincts and we don't have to do a whole lot of training in the way of, this is a chicken, don't eat the chicken. Like they're pretty good about figuring it out really quickly. So, all right, we're gonna go pick up this puppy and then I have to go to Walmart because I need a few things for the dog that I didn't have a chance to get and I'm not sure how big he is so I need to get a harness because they do, they are runners, unfortunately. That's pretty much the only downside of this dog. They think at all territory is their territory. They have to be fenced in. But we'll see how he acts. And I'm going to take him to the farm and let him uh, sniff around and get to know that area. And then we'll take him to Nashville until we get the farmhouse finished, obviously. Plus, he's still young, so he needs a lot of work. Well, not a lot. I've never had to work a lot with the Great Pyrenees. This one may be different, though. You know, all dogs are different. Okay. I'm going to put this address in the GPS. And we're going to get going. And we're going to get this dog. It is. I've been up since 6. It is now 7.45. 13-minute drive from my parents' driveway to her driveway. I, I thought she lived, I knew she was close, but I didn't know she was that close. Anyways, okay, here we go. If you were Christmas day, I could give you a cup of cocoa. If and if there was cold, Something that, I don't know, would you call it a character flaw? I don't know. It's something that I can't help. I get to places early and um, that's a problem. No, it's okay, it's not a problem. Except for in this situation, I do not wanna show up 
15 minutes early to um, someone who runs a farm, okay? Because when you work on a farm and you have a farm and you do all the things, um, you know, cattle and sheep and goats and chickens, you kind of don't, um, oh my God, he's so cute. She just sent me a picture. <laughs> you don't want to rush somebody like that because you don't know like did they get stuck in the cattle like you're gonna give them some room anyway she just texted me and said he's ready so I just drove around like a back road for a minute because literally I was there like 20 minutes early so now I'm gonna go pick him up he's so fluffy oh my god I can't wait <laughs> Ragnar Rags hey you hey you are you a good boy? You are a good boy. This may be one of the best dogs I've ever picked up. He has not moved from this seat even when I had to run into Walmart. When I got back, he was in the same spot. Come here, you wanna say hi? Come here, bubby. He's super calm. Say hello. He smells just like a cow patty because he's been out in the pasture with his mama. Oh, you're so sweet. So this is Ragnar. Uh, we're probably going to call him Raggy or Rags, but he had to have a big name because he's going to be a huge dog. His mama's big. His daddy's huge. He has a little bit of brown on him. Some great Pyrenees do. Some of them are pure white. The last two we had were pure white. Um, but yeah, this is our third great Pyrenees. The other two, um, one of them, she got out of the fence and we could never find her. And the other one, he's living down the road at another farm. And um, hopefully we can get him back. I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, but yeah, this is our farm dog. And he will stay uh, with the chickens for a while. And when we get the sheep, he'll move in with the sheep. He's actually from a mama who is a sheep dog. So he's got good stock in him. He's already been around sheep. He kind of already knows livestock, so that's really good. Of course, he's still young, and we'll have to keep him on a tether for a while so he don't chase the chickens and keep him in the house for a little while till he gets bigger. But on the whole, he is not a pet pet like Rhett Butler and Toto. They're lap dogs, you know. He's a working dog. He's going to have a job, and that's what these dogs like. Like, they're totally happy. They don't give a crap about it. They love humans, too, but that's not their... That's not their... Um, pack their pack is their their animals so we're gonna get him situated and then by the time we get oh you got a flea on you son uh by the time we get him good and trained our sheep will be on the way and then we can get him get him trained with the sheep too that'll take time and that's okay We've never had any issues. It's been easy to train our Great Pyrenees in the past. We didn't have to do a whole lot. Their instincts are really good. Uh, I assume that his instincts will be good since he, his mama and his daddy both were livestock dogs, guard, livestock guardian dogs, and not house pets. You know, they were actually working, working dogs like he's going to be. But, of course, we will love him, and he will have a warm place to sleep until he gets nice and big. He's been sleeping outside with his mama. These dogs don't mind the cold. In fact, they like it. I'm probably burn him, burning him up in this Jeep because he has such thick fur, and he's got an undercoat that keeps him nice and warm. These dogs were not made to be coddled. And, but the, the cold weather, they actually prefer cold weather. It's when the heat comes in the summer that we'll have to make sure that he's okay because they'll get... Sometimes they can get overheated. And you don't have fleas, buddy. I didn't get you no flea stuff because I didn't have any for puppies. I should have went by the vet. I can, well, they're not open tomorrow. Shoot. I'll go to Tractor Supply. Well, I got to go to Tractor Supply anyways because he needs a different kind of dog food. I just got him some puppy chow for now, but he'll, he'll need the good stuff. But they, I had to go to Walmart. You know, Walmart is just, you know, you get what you get there. Hi, baby. Oh, you are just the most precious thing. You smelling me? Hi. You are too cute. Oh, I can't stand it. Okay, we're going to go introduce him to Beckett and see how that goes. I hope Beckett doesn't pull his hair. We'll see. Oh, 
Okay. We've had a little bath. And now we're just trying to get relaxed and calm down. Beckett has already been introduced to him. He did pretty good, but he wants to play with him and he's not ready to play yet. I'm gonna take him outside for a walk and see how he does. He's so cute. You feeling better now? Did you eat? You got some good food? You wanna go outside now? Yeah? <laughs> you ate all your food. What a good boy. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. He's such a sweetheart. He really is. He's gonna be stubborn, I think. Yeah, he's got a good stubborn streak, but he's also very sweet. So yeah. I think you make a great guardian. He's calm, but he's focused on whatever it is he's focused on. He made a bed outside in the rain and wanted to stay out there. But we don't have a fence at my parents' house, or I would've just let him stay out there. They're fine in the weather. They like it. <laughs> he did not want to go inside, but now he's asleep. He's taking a little nap ski, so. We're driving around, looking at things. Scouting out some pastures. Yeah, plotting. We, well, we didn't do that. Ken and some of our friends got some hay because what exactly are you doing with that hay? It's not to feed anything with. No, it's old hay. And so the pastures have been fallow for years. And they've got sagebrush, and I'm sure that they're acidic, and they're just... They, they need nutrition, they need carbon. And so I bought a hay bale unroller from Greg Judy. And I'm gonna unroll this hay and just let it, it's basically gonna become worm food. And so it's gonna, all the seeds will fall out and seed the pasture. And then all the hay will rot and feed the worms and make the soil thicker and deeper and, and better so that we can grow good, thick, lush grass. Lush. Yes. Have a lush dog. I lush, I was, yeah, that's where I was going with that. You know. Uh, who wants Dr. Barry to start a farming channel? Or like we could do a channel together, I think. Yeah. But, like he can't put that stuff on his main channel because that's not where it's focused. That would be weird. You people, think that would freak people out? I think people would be like, what? What's you know? Yeah. So I think we should start a Berry Farm YouTube channel. Yeah. And That'd be fun. we can like... Just talk about how we're doing the livestock and I may do some canning, you know? Yeah. Cause I'm kind of a prepper at this point. I've become paranoid. <laughs> well, I think being prepared is a good thing. We should all be prepared. Yeah. I don't think it's, I mean, there's, you know, you can be over weird about that stuff, but I just wanna, you know, prep in case, just in case. But that's everything. I, I'm always got a, a, a plan A, a plan B, a plan C, a plan D. And depending on what it's about, maybe all the way through Z. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, that, that's just my personality type. Well, the house is looking so good. I'm going to give you an update. But um, I kind of don't want to at the same time. Yeah. But it, I mean, it's not going to, it doesn't look done. So it's still not. But I want the final reveal, you know, to be like, yeah. whoa. You know? Yeah. Well, when they put all the trim up, that's going to make it really pop, I think. Yeah, but the, some of the floors are in. Some of the tile in the bathroom is in. It's already looking like it's it's gorgeous. Makes me want to cry. It looks so good. My grandma would be proud. My grandpa would say, You spent a lot of money for nothing. Yes, exactly. He'd say, What'd you do all that for? <laughs> but, <laughs> Need yeah. Need to be saving that money. Yeah. Yeah. It's reinvested money. Yep. So. Yep. Well invested, I think. I think so too. So we'll we'll go by there in just a little bit. Well, oh my gosh, they've got their garden decorated for Christmas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's cute. 
<laughs> Nothing in it, so might, might as well put some Christmas lights on it. It's kind of cloudy today, but you can still see that we've got some floors down. This is the kitchen area. Let me see. Over here where the sun, well, the sun. You can kind of see the color really good. And then we've also got our mantle. Ken's got his flashlight out so you can see. So pretty. Shine it over here so that I can see the end of it. How pretty that is. Oh, I love it. Floors go all the way into the sunroom. Still got to put trim and stuff down. But then look how good. This is going to be our little mudroom area. Looks great. The best part, hopefully you can see. They've started on the tile. So that's the tile for the floor in the bathrooms. And then this is the shower, honeycomb tile for the, what they call it? The accent stripe, yes. so what it's called. Then a little seat over here for me to show you my legs. And did I got the floor in here? So this, we're keeping this the original floor through here. And then in here, this is where the tub shower is gonna go. And the floor is down in here too. It's looking good. There's the extra tile. Some doors. And here's my bathtub. You can, can't really tell a lot about it, but it's pretty. It doesn't stand up like that, obviously. <laughs> That's pretty much what they've got right now. And they're gonna put the cabinets in, right? I think he said this week, so. We'll have cabinets all the way around. And then the refrigerator here. And then, refrigerator, yeah. <coughs> stove, yeah, yeah, stove there. sink, big farm sink, and then dishwasher. Right? Yeah. Hee, looks so good. I'm obsessed. <laughs> I have forced him to stop watching are we, wait, is this Greg GD or is this a different one? No, it's a different guy. It's a different guy. Learning about pigs now. Okay. You can't really see us. Let me see if I can fix this. <laughs> Shit, Nisha uses it as a tripod. You're sitting on diapers. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to interview you. Oh, okay. I need to know a few things. Okay. You know. This mm. is a cute look, by the way. Just ignore that. Okay. So... Top three animals we're going to raise and eat. Mm, definitely chicken eggs, <clears throat> pork, and sheep to start with. To start with, okay. Hopefully one day we'll have cattle, but we've got to improve our soil first. No goats? Well, the more I learn about sheep and pigs, the more they kind of do the job of goats, and they're not assholes like goats are. So, okay. All right. Yeah, maybe a few goats, but I don't really see a need right now. When can I have a horse? <laughs> Whenever you want it. I like your... It's cute, right? It's yeah. a good look. My... That's my zit cream. <laughs> okay. When can Becca have a pony? Whenever. I think he just bought one. I think this dog's going to be a pony. Oh, yeah. He can ride the dog for sure. Get him a dog saddle. Yeah. Um, what was something else? Um, how are we going to feed the animals? Are they going to be grain fed? No, we're probably never going to buy a single kernel of grain. The, they're going to be grass fed and the pigs are going to be acorn fed and grub worm fed. And we might, might buy a little bit of supplemental feed for the pigs, but 
always non-GMO. Cool. Yeah. But the sheep, just grass. How many sheep do you want? Well, we've got, what? 20? 10 ordered or 12 or ordered? 12. Yeah, 12. 12. we got 10 ewes and two rams. And well, How many do you want? Oh, I want uh, a couple thousand <laughs> eventually. But I, I think I need to experiment with 10. For practice. A while. Yeah, practice mm -hmm. and learn. And, and then once we've got kind of the circle of life figured out, then we'll upgrade. Okay. Last question. Yes. What do you like better? Doctoring or farmering? Mm, it's a close tie. Or fa farming. <laughs> farmering. farmering. <laughs> I've always, it's a close I've always tie? loved playing on the farm. Oh, yeah, I know. You know that, and so, but kind of doing going at it in a bigger way. I'm really excited about it, but I sure do love doctoring. So I don't know. We'll have to wait and see which one turns out to be more fun, because I've done doctoring full scale. Full board. That's true. You've only done and medium, just, like yeah, medium level. I guess you could call farming. it hobby farming. Hobby farming. Yeah, yeah. But we don't. I mean, I may hate farming. I may be like, you know what? We're selling all these damn sheep. That's it. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think. You, do you think that? No. No, we need it. No. But oh. you never know. All right. So we'll see. That concludes this short interview with Dr. Berry. <laughs> I honestly just needed a closer for this vlog, and this seemed like the best thing to do. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. What's that on your face? <laughs> it's zit cream. Zit cream. Is yeah. it is it preventary no, zit cream no. or is it therapeutic zit cream? Yeah, it's this this uh, this is Fred, oh, and Fred. Fred's been on here for quite a while. So I'm really trying to get rid of Fred, and oh, he don't want to die. No, he likes it right here. It's very resilient. It's better than it was. Oh, good. Thank goodness. I've been derma rolling and. What animals do you want on the farm? Horses. Yeah. And sheep. What else? And a lot of dogs. What else? Peacocks. Yeah. I peacocks. can't wait to have my peacocks back. Queen of the peacocks. Mm -hmm. Instead of queen of dragons. Mm -hmm. Queen of peacocks. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. See you in the next video. See you, bye. Love you, mean it. You say love you, mean it. Love you, mean it. Bye. Bye. <laughs>